to the dad my god it's kind of like the blood fighter alex cologne and you hey this is billy starks everybody it's the epitome of style with the smile the human hype machine and co-host of oh you didn't know ryan katz and i'm well this is your boy og kevin gill from the legendary and revolutionary game changer wrestling crew you were watching drinking at moe's drink it Mm. Welcome everybody. Drinking the most of my two cents. Drinking more of my spotted cow beer I got for my Green Bay trip, but that's beyond the point. We have people often talk about Mount Rushmore of this, Mount Rushmore of that. Lots of people that watch the show will know that I'm a big fan of tag team wrestling. Always have been, always will be. So it got me thinking. It'll probably be a bit of a two-parter. Another episode coming out later. But I figured I'm out rush more at tag team wrestling. I might do some my two cents on my personal tops of this or that. This one's going to be all-time favorite tag teams. I will go over, and by all means, if I miss somebody you think should be on the list, let me know in the comments. Facebook Messenger DMs always open. I enjoy the conversation. Anyways, let's get off to it. Before I go in, we, like we got some. Honorable mentions, I will go over them last, but let's get started here. First off, my one of my personal favorite tag teams of all time, the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom. Their reputation speaks for itself. There's a reason for, they're the reason that uh, the term the Road Warrior pop was coined. Nobody had that pop when they came out like those guys. You literally have them winning titles all over. NWA, All Japan, WCW, WWF. Anywhere they went, they got gold. One of the most influential tag teams of all time. You have people crediting them like the Dudley Boys, the Briscoe Brothers, rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. But it would be hard to not put them on this, this list, the Mount Rushmore of all-time greatest tag teams. Next up, the Dudley Boys, one of those that credits the Road Warriors. Another tag team that has literally held tag team titles all over the globe. Here in the States with WWE, the WWE's version of WCW, ECW. Total nonstop action, impact. They've held it in freaking New Japan. Anywhere they went, they have held tag team gold. Had notable feuds with, let's go ECW first. And this is just a few, a couple of them, because good Lord, they've had more than I can count. Eliminators. RVD Sabu. Uh, they're Balls Mahoney. Spike Deadly. The list could go on. WWE, they had it with Edge and Christian, the Hardy Boys. The 
the new age outlaws they're on i have rog playing in the background they had it with them pretty much anywhere total non-stop action so, aka impact america's most wanted their first feud in the company lax some great matches some weird ones like that electrified steel cage it happens but again they ran their team 3d academy they influenced all sorts of people throughout wrestling history after them it would be hard to not put them on this list next up and i went back and forth on this whether i wanted to include this group on current or all time i mean they could have done both really but uh i'm choosing to stick with these guys with all time greats because that they are part of the first ever class of the ring of honor hall of fame the briscoe brothers once again rest in peace jay briscoe i will never be able to forget the legacy that you and your brother mark had built held tag team titles literally everywhere new japan noah ring of honor impact People might forget about that one because it was kind of recently. A tag team synonymous with Ring of Honor. Literally, Jay Briscoe was, and correct me if I'm wrong, was in the first ever Ring of Honor match way back. It, it's interesting to remember that yeah, he was only 38, but dude had 20 years experience in the wrestling business by the time he was his unfortunate passing last week. Still a little shaken up by that. Some of the notable feuds they've had, which I went over some in my Jay Bristol memories, but we'll go over some more here. Kevin Steen, a.k.a. Kevin Owens. And El Generico, a.k.a. Sami Zayn, which, like I said, have Raw playing. Had one hell of a showing tonight. Also, who can forget the trilogy they had in 2022 with FTR, culminating just last month with the double dog collar match at Final Battle. Amazing stuff. Next up. Some more, some more Ring of Honor. We got God Grills of Destiny feuding with those uh, Ring of Honor tag titles, defending the honor of Ring of Honor, and then the Young Bucks. Who can forget some of the wars that those two teams have had? It's amazing, you know, thinking. In the relatively short amount of time, the legacy that they built. It's absolutely amazing. And I, I've been hearing some word on, you know, some different opinions on what some people think they should do with the tag titles because don't want to forget that Jay and Mark Briscoe were – reigning defending ring of honor tag champs some people have talked about should they retire this iteration of the tag belts and maybe go to a different design one that was more towards the the end of the end of uh, ring of honor before tony khan bought it I guess we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Next up, last but not least. And this one was a tough one because there's so many teams that could be in this. 
But I'm picking the fabulous Freebirds. Titles all over the place between the various NWA territories back in the territory days, WCW. Who can forget the bloody feud with Von Erichs? Another team that very well could have, or and very well might be on very many people's tag team Mount Rushmore. So we'll see. But I give these guys a slight edge for me because of a lasting thing called the free bird rule where a team consisting of three or more people, if they're holding the tag titles, any iteration of those three can be in the match, can be the holder of that belt for that match. So it's, because of that, and because people still refer to it today, that they get that slight edge to me. Again, if there's a team you think needs to be on here that I didn't put on here by all means, tell me in the comments. But in the end, this is the beauty of it. When people talk about this subject, the Mount Rushmore, this or that, it's very subjective. One person's opinion, odds are, isn't going to be the same as somebody else's. In the end, this was my opinion. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. Anyways, honorable mentions. Devon Eriks. Harlem Heat. Doom. Consisting of Ron Simmons and Butch Reed, for those that might not be aware. I got to remember, there's people that might listen to this that might not have been around during that time. The Nasty Boys. The Wild Samoans. Again, like, like I just said, it's my opinion. If you agree with me, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear the conversation. DMs always open. Comments, by all means, leave them. Anyways, this has been Drinking the Mo's My Two Cents. Thank you to Reaper Apparel, as always. Use code DRINKING if you want to get your uh, 10% off. And uh, let's have a good week. Let's fucking go. All right, everybody. I wanted to thank the sponsor today, Reaper Apparel. One to encourage everybody to break out of the comfort zone, live their best self, which I very much support. They got great apparel, hats, shirts, beanies, hoodies, all that good shit. Be sure when you go on to ReaperApparel.com, use the code DRINKIN for 10% off your order. Let's fucking go.